Hello, Mr. Taylor. Let's take a look at dilations that are outside of the image. You are to graph an image after a dilation with the origin as its center. And the only thing that we're going to look at here is a figure that's going to either be inside or outside of the original image. So the center of dilation can be either inside or outside. The center can uh, be anywhere on the coordinate plane. As long as the lines that connect each pair of corresponding vertices between the origin and the dilated image intersect at the center of dilation. Well, the author gave us this example that he wants us to take a look at before we actually do some uh, guided practice and, and individual work. So he said we have triangle ABC, uh, and he wants us to graph ABC. Well, actually, he wants us to graph the image of triangle ABC after a dilation with the origin as its center and a scale factor of 3. So this is the um, original or the pre-image and we're going to try and find A prime, B prime, and C prime. So if we have a scale factor of 3 just like we've done previously we multiply 3 times each particular vertices. So as I take a look here, I see 1, 1. This is the same thing that Arthur has here. So this will be, A prime will be 1 times 3, comma 1 times 3 for Y. And that gives us our 3, comma 3. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, three. So this is my A. Let me change the colors here so we'll know exactly what we're doing. So then he says B is 3, 1. So I see 1, 2, 3 for B and up 1. This is this coordinate right here. And we multiply times 3. So 3 times 3 will give us an X of 9 and 3 times 1 will give us a Y of 3. So we go from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and up 3. 1, 2, 3. So that gives us our B coordinate. And for C, it tells us that C is 1 comma 1 2 3 and we multiply 1 by 3 and we'll get 3 and 3 by 3 and we'll get 9 so now we are to go up over to the right 1 2 3 and up 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and these are our new our new coordinates, or should we say our A prime, B prime, C prime. Now, the only thing uh, we have to do according to, well, let's let the author show us. So now we draw the line, so we would have went back here, we could have easily just uh, connected these lines in with my little connector, going from here here and from here to here and then from this point down to this point okay so that gives us our our points now let's go and see what else he wants to do so he says, draw them 
and then check each side. Well, he, he, you want to make sure uh, that they pass through the image. He's talking about uh, draw these segments from the center. So what I'm looking at, if I if I took my segment line and I want to go from here, and I'm going, and it's going directly through the center. If that if that can make sense to you, going directly through the center. I mean, we can even uh, from here. And well, look like I took that away from us. And then also here. See these line segments are going directly through um, the other line segments. So what I want you to do is take a look here at problem five. I think that was just four we just did. Take a look at problem five and see can you graph the uh, the image of x, y, z. Now this is the original and we want to know what x prime, y prime, and z prime is and we want a scale factor of uh, 130. Then it asks us to write an algebraic rule. Okay to describe the dilation. So you can go ahead and stop that now and uh, come back when you're done. Okay, so I think the first thing we need to do if we're going to work on these points is we need to see what are the points for X, we need to see what are the points for Y, and we need to see what are the points for Z. So x is, this is 3, 3. y is 9, 9. And z is 3, 9. So it said to come up with a rule. So if we have x and y, x comma y, and we're moving them with a scale factor of one third, then our rule has to be one third x comma one third y. Okay, so if that's the case, we're going to go up here. and we're going to multiply so we get x prime we have 3 times 1 third comma 3 times 1 third we have for y prime we have 9 times 1 third comma 9 times one third and for z prime we have three times one third comma nine times one third and that should give us one three times one third and 3 times 1 third is 1, so that should give us 1 comma 1. This should give us 3 divided into 9 is going to give us 3 comma 3. Yeah, I'm doing it for both x and y. And here we should have 1 comma 3. And then all we got to do at this point is just plot them. So I have 1 comma 1. 
I have three comma three. Hmm, it's amazing. And I have one comma three. And then just connect. Got my computer had to shift. I don't like that. Let's go back. That's a better line. And then here. So that's what it looks like. All right, let's see what the other did. Ah, looks good. The only thing we didn't do is we didn't put our x, y, z prime, and we can do that. Uh, x prime. Let's go back and get our pen. So it says x prime is one one. So here we have x prime. Uh, y prime is three three. So this is y prime, and then z prime is 1, 3. And there you have it. All right. Thanks for watching.